for a walk the other day with the family and took some video and I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to do a example video. So I've imported all the clips from uh, that I took and uh, I've already picked out music I think that will go well with it. So first thing I'll do is drag the music down here. I'm going to have this track be my mute track I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of the audio. There will probably be uh, maybe some few clips in here that I might use. Other than that I'm just going to grab my clips and drag them down here. You see it's not very long. Again, especially with home videos, you really don't want them. They don't need to be long. People don't want to sit there and watch long home movies. This one's going to be about 40 seconds. And people watch a 40 second video, enjoy it, it gives you memories, and just kind of goes over everything that happened. So uh, most of my clips, again, I usually try to keep them around three or four seconds, if not shorter, uh, unless it's a long panning view, or my first clip, like this one's uh, still only three seconds, it looks like, uh, about four seconds. And I make that the, the first clip and the last clip, if possible, longer uh, so that I can have them fade in and fade out. Sometimes, though, like this example here, I was out with the family. We have two kids. We're walking on a hard trail. I had to push the stroller back, so I never actually got a final shot. So I might use one of my – I took a few panning shots here in the middle, and I might move one of those to the end. But let's go ahead. I'm going to just go ahead, and I can actually grab the corner here and pull this out, and now that will fade in. So let's see. Now you'll notice I film stuff thinking about how it's going to be edited. I purposely filmed these three shots in a row, actually four shots in a row, that go together. So my daughter running towards me, I told her to come running towards me. I stopped the camera there, quickly turned around and started recording again. And then I told her to stop and I came up next to her and, at, and told her to go look at the water and that's how I got these two shots. So you know you don't always have a little chance to direct. Um, but if you can, your kids will listen to you. Don't give them too many um, instructions, but run towards me was the first two shots. And I said, stop, wait. I walked up. I said, now come running over to this little railing. And she did that, and I got the next two shots. And I think that's the only parts that I actually gave any direction to, but it made for good shots. Uh, okay, next I have this shot over the water, which is kind of a longer shot. Um, and I don't always do this, but I might make that a fade. So I can press uh, M on my keyboard here and that will drag all these clips over. S to go back to select and fade. We'll see how that looks, but I'm also going to want to mute this. So I'm going to just search mute up here with this clip selected and mute it. Because uh, I have no audio on this track, but I might use these tracks for audio. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looked good. And the shot of the family stand there, got the whole family looking around. And again, this shot's a little longer because it's a panning shot. And I pan down from the sky there. And so that might be another good place to have another fade effect. Most of the time I don't use too many fade effects, but sometimes with shots like this, they come in handy. So let's see how that looks. Oh, I'm got to mute that clip. Because there's really no need for any of the audio here, except for in this shot here, I think my daughter says something, which, now that I think about it, I might move one of these shots to the end again. Sometimes you can also duplicate shots and people won't realize it, so let's have a look. So I think that looked good. I, oh, I don't need to pan that part, uh, fade that part, though. So let's move these back over. Okay, so from there, fade to the trees, coming down again, my daughter running, my son come by. The hardest part about filming stuff like this is getting in front of the family, then getting behind the family, then getting in front of them again. I do quite a bit of running. Okay, so that sh this last shot, my daughter's talking, that actually might be a good shot with some audio. So let's go ahead and type in here fade. I'm going to fade in. That will fade the audio in here. So let's see how this goes. So there she says something, but the audio is kind of loud. So let's add some video or some volume effects to this. So volume keyframeable to the audio down here. And I'm just going to add a keyframe, which we can see right here. I'm going to move it here. And then I'm going to add in another keyframe. And I'm going to go here. And this will lower the volume from here to here. So let's see how that works out. 
I lowered it way too much, way too fast. So let's go back up a little bit. <laughs> so it's nice to have little audio clips like that occasionally, even though it might take be a little out of place with the rest of the video, but you want to have those memories when it comes to home videos. So let's go ahead and it still might be too low, but let's hear it again. So what I can do here is I can go with using this arrow key, go to that, that frame. You can see it's set to negative 20 uh, decibels. Let's make it only go down 10 and see how that sounds. So that was a pretty good volume there, and I might want to come back up for an end title shot. Real quick, I'm going to save this project. I'm just going to call it Rook, because we were at a place called Rookery Bay. And I'm not going to do anything fancy with the title shots here. I'm just going to go add title clip. I want it to have a black background. And I'm going to go and let's make text 75 sounds good. And we can pick a different font if we really want, but try to keep it somewhat simple. It's just going to be a simple, we'll just leave it at that. And we'll say Rookery Bay, and it was August. Sometimes I put the date, sometimes I just put the month. Uh, I forget what day this was, it was a couple days ago. So I'm just going to say August 2016, just so I remember the date and time. I'm going to center that text center center boom now again I can be a little fancy with this since the text is so plain I can do animation and I can say edit start and stop and what I'll do here is I'll just grab one of them and I'll drag it in a little bit just a little bit probably right like that and then I will center that center center and so I start I clicked at the start so the camera's going to zoom out so it's going to look like the words are going away from the camera if I'm Think of that correctly. What I'll do is I'll bring that over here and let me go back into the clip here. Show background, background 255. Uh, that will make sure we have the black background rather than the transparent background. It'll be whatever color you put here, which I'm going to go with black. So now I can fade in. We want that audio to fade out, so we'll say fade. Make sure we have that clip selected, fade out. Oh. And you can see the text slowly moves back a little bit. Uh, here I'm going to drag our audio out a little bit more, and I'm going to add a second title clip because uh, this is Creative Commons music with um, attribution. So I have to say music by Josh Woodward. We will center that text, center it on the screen, and it's kind of large. So let's go ahead and put it down to 50 and center it again. Center, center. Okay. Now I will say sometimes you gotta check, sometimes, again, I think the glitchiest thing in Caden Live is the title clip editor, and sometimes you center stuff and then you go out and it's not centered. This time it did center. Just always double check that. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this clip fade to black, and this one will fade from and to black. I'll make the, this clip, let's shorten the fade from two seconds down to one second on all of these. The default is about two seconds. I'll make it about one second. And I'm also going to come here and I'm going to set a new keyframe for the volume here. Usually I don't do this much with the volume. Um, and actually I'm going to move this over just a bit like that, add another keyframe, and I'm going to move it back up to zero decibels so it has no it's, it's the default volume there. So it should fade a little low while my daughter's talking and then fade back up. And then uh, we can use the keyframes again or we can uh, just drag this here and that will be a fade out. So let's see how that sounds. And I'm gonna hit Control S to save. Good to save regularly. A 
shark swimming to get you. Sometimes I like to have the audio not end right on the video, either a second or two before or have it go a second or two after. I just did it like probably about a second before there. But that's it. And that's probably more complicated than most of my home videos because normally I don't do all these, you know, like these two transition fades up here. But most of the other stuff is basically what I do. And uh, so I'm going to render this out and I'll put a link in the description or an annotation on the screen to where you can watch the rendered out video. I thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this vi these videos. I hope you're you're learning uh, that Keaton Live is actually a very useful, very well-rounded tool for at least basic video editing. Uh, and yes, you can do some basic special effects with them, but that's when it might get a little glitchy. But we'll get into that in the coming weeks. We've already done a little bit on compositing. But uh, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And there you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com uh, forward slash metalx1000. There's a link to that in the description as well. There you can come and support my videos with as little as a dollar a month. If you can't afford a dollar a month, uh, you, you can help out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.